Hello everybody and welcome to, hopefully, the um, Frozen Wilds DLC from Horizon Zero Dawn that I never played back in the day. I know this is odd, I am currently playing Horizon Forbidden West as well, um, but I really wanted to get to the DLC um, as, soon as, like, as soon as I could, but then there was a whole bunch of problems with any of you were there for that. I just couldn't get it to work on my original game, so I ended up a couple weeks ago actually finally caving and buying the complete edition, even though I was in the middle of my new game plus on my original version. So I have just had to play through the beginning of the game, and I'm playing on easy baby mode because I want to do the DLC and I want to do the story as quickly as possible. I didn't want to spend a ton of time down there, um, but I see this exclamation point and I think I know that it means it's going to be the DLC. Um, so I'm excited. I really wanted to get this done before I started playing Horizon Forbidden West, but I got too excited um, and timing just didn't work out. <laughs> so we're going to go. We're going to go nab this. Um, Nothing but trouble. That's all there is in the new plans. Also, if you have any questions, let me know. But there was just a whole bunch of issues with the DLC just not work, like the download not working. I'd spent hours trying to fix it. Just, just oh, it was it was a whole thing. Like a couple of years ago when I first played Horizon Zero Dawn. So, yeah, hopefully the series will get up in a decent amount of time, and we can all experience this before we get too spoiled in the next game. <laughs> I heard you talking about trouble in Banuk lands. Was that out loud? Ears must be getting worn down from all those long leg blasts. <laughs> but you heard right. I'm fresh back from the cut, looking for better scavenging and better shards. I guess you didn't find them up there? <laughs> Not with the Banuk wailing about new machines and talking spirits and their purses frozen shut. <laughs> What's a trade route without trade? It's just a route. <laughs> There's a trade route. I thought the Banuk kept to themselves. Oh, we Osiram and the Banuk are neighbors, after all. What's a few mountain ranges between <laughs> friends? I have some acquaintances out there, still trying to dig a living out of the ice, but they say nothing seems to stick. All the superstitious nonsense and rampaging machines aren't helping. What were these new machines and spirits? Honestly, I don't even know. Going by the number of Banuk funerals, I'd say the kind you turn away from. Not really my style. Well, if you reach my grand old age, you might prefer picking up after hunters in the Sundom. It's warmer, too. What is this place, the cut? When the Karja took up swords and hacked away at the edge of Banuk land, they left the cut behind. So a battleground from the war, like the valley outside the sacred land. Mm-hmm. Mountain Pass in the far north and east will get you there. It's open to outlanders, hardy ones, like you. Just don't expect much of a welcome, especially not now. Uh oh New machines and talking spirits? I'm interested. Thought as much, just looking at you. Don't say you weren't warned. There's a slip of a trail through the northeastern mountains, past what we call the Grave Horde. You won't miss it. You'll find what passes for a town on the other side. Maybe someone there can talk you out of it. Maybe. Maybe not. Thanks for the information. I am... I'm going in... <laughs> yes, it's level 30. I realize that. I'm really hoping uh, that easy being an easy baby... Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> I'm really hoping that it being uh, me playing on easy baby mode will significantly help. Um... Boy, this is the pain in the butt about playing it on a fresh game. Is I'm not leveled up, nothing's open to me, I have barely anything, I don't have like, any weapons. <laughs> I'm really hoping I can acquire the new DLC weapons because they're supposed to be really good, and from what I've seen, you can acquire them like as you do the main quest of the DLC. But, uh... <laughs> also, to be fair, um, the fact that I am doing it so early in the game means that there are some things I'm going to be missing, at least according to what I've heard. Um, like when, like, Aloy knows nothing about Gaia right now. Um, and uh, that's going to, it doesn't play like, a, I was told it wasn't like a huge thing, but the, the di some dialogues will change according to like how much, like means trouble. according to how much you know about the main um, quest. 
like the main storyline in Horizon Zero Dawn. So we don't know anything about Horizon Zero Dawn right now. We don't know anything about Gaia. We don't know anything really about Elizabeth. Oh my goodness. I didn't even see that. <laughs> This must be the pass that Tour was talking about. With Banuke territory just above. Dang, I thought it was gonna be. I guess we don't we don't have we don't have the quest yet for the Banuke that are normally up here. But they're not they're not in this exact location, I don't think. I think they're a little west. Just spent like ten minutes running across the open land. Murdering creatures. And I'm almost halfway to the level you're supposed to be for this. <laughs> oh. Uh, one of the reasons I'm able to do this right now is that I actually got off work a bit early today. Because of the weather, which is always nice. So... But not everybody did. Only some of my coworkers did. A few number because of certain reasons. Um, and I was one of the lucky ones, so. Since I am here alone for now, but basically, I am gonna take advantage of that. Oh, okay, all right, I didn't know. Please. So far, from what I, little I can tell you in the new game, that climbing has improved. At least they've made it a bit easier to figure out where you're going, kinda. I could stand up here. Why am I... Can I just, just drop here? Okay. Oh, this is like... I was like, why are the lights so spooky? But it's like that Banuk, like, light up. Like, they use, like, the cords or whatever to, like, light up somehow. And they, like put it up in themselves too. So I do know. This one's a new color. Oh. I see the heat coming off it. Oh. A new one. Heat resistance. No wonder they gave me heat resistance. I was like, hmm, why'd they give me heat resistance in the ice? <laughs> oh my goodness. This isn't actually too bad, honestly. All things considered. Yo. Though, it's like, instead of like glowing like corruptor red, it's like glowing weird spirit purple. Whew. Cool. Okay, okay. Level 15. There's something to be climbed over there. At the very least, there's goodies. Explore the climb, it says. Well, let's... Let's do this way. The cut, not the climb. Also, the graveyard, I'm pretty sure we have that in the normal game. They might just reference it, though, the awesome. room. I saw something cool. I saw that I can't... I can't look at right now because I'm climbing. Yo, the Aurora Borealis. Oh, I could have taken an easy way. Cool. That reminds me of the Skyrim. The Skyrim, like, frost things. I can't remember their names, but they'll attack you, and I always, I usually get murderized by them. Pretty hardcore. The like wis will of the wisps, but I see. Yo, this is sick. It's cool. Oh 
my gosh, really? Okay, that's <laughs> I was like, that's, that's how you're gonna announce it? Oh my goodness. I'm just one woman. What are you- Wee! Freaking finally, after years of suffering, not being able to play this thing because of stupid PlayStation issues. Hello? Ha. You sure you'll be warm enough up here, Nora? I've worked up a sweat from the climb. Okay. Uh, listen, I'm Nora. I'm from cold places too, but not icy places. I'm from like, we still got trees area. You made it to the cut, Outlander. Thank you. Not that you'll stay long. Well, that's, they are not very welcoming. That's okay. You don't gotta be. What's oh my gosh, is the mountain exploding? Smoke rising from the mountain. From the village, too. What's it for? Is it a freaking volcano? Is there a freaking volcano going on? <sighs> Do you guys even have. I mean, you have to. You. But where? But she will return. Who? I must believe she will. I'm eavesdropping. Shaman has abandoned us. <gasps> our chieftain has led our best to their deaths. Where should we find hope May now? Songs of the lost. Don't mind me, just eavesdropping. I'm surprised they just kind of let this me in. Something big going on. Mm. Most of the village is moving towards that smoke. Oh, that smoke. This little baby smoke, not the big, big... Who knows better how to lead than our talk? We must put our faith in What little I know of the Banook is from, like, the idols. I picked up all the little... little fetish icons. Awesome. You ready for a rare sight, Nora? Bergrind, purveyor of necessities. Mm-hmm. Most of the time, the Banuk burn their dead, but not today. Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye, a nasty business. All their best warriors lost. So they're getting a different kind of send off. Hardcore? This is really hardcore. <laughs> what? I was like, my controller's vibrating. Oh, it's a sky burial. Maybe. your grief, my hunters, and kill it! For our kin sees the fate all Banuk long for, falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Very charismatic. Will you fight and die as well as they did? 
My courage! My spear! Our blood is in your teeth, Oratok! We are Banuk. Our enemies are prey. The Daemon. That frenzies the machines. Machines that wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice. Uh, for free. Uh... Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. <laughs> it started with one of their shamans, uh, Orea, spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Aria vanished, I thought the crazy might have gone with her. But no. Here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. What is it about the Banuk you can't make sense of? Hmm. Well, everything's a test to them. A hardship to endure. A challenge to survive. Seems like they don't have much of a choice in a place like this. Yeah. A land cold enough to crack teeth, filled with wild animals. You think they'd accept a little reasonably priced aid? Mm. <laughs> Believe me, I've tried to convince them. But a Banuk with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die. Uh, harsh environments tend to breed people with, uh, or breed cultures, I guess, that have uh, very strict regimens, rituals, practices, and belief systems. Um, very intense, strict ones, uh, oftentimes. It's. It's pretty well documented. What am I trying to think of? Um, oh my gosh, I had like a specific example in mind and now it's gone. Oh, Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia was a specific example I was going for. Um, where it was a heart. Like, I mean, it was like, you know, like the, you know, cradle of civilization, air quotes. Um, at least in that particular area. And, um... It had a lot, a lot, like it was, you know, fertile and all this stuff, but it had very significant flooding going on quite regularly, but not quite as regularly as like the Nile where you could predict it. It was very unpredictable. Um, so they died a lot, <laughs> especially when you live right next to a river, right? And you get flooded and like there's big storms, you know, and there's really nowhere to hide there. The, the environment itself is kind of clay, so stuff can kind of grow like with difficulty so it's been it's postulated anyway that such an environment would create like a very like a harsh societal cultural systems in some ways so and Orea is the one who spoke about this daemon that's right told Aratak and the others that it lives up on thunder's drum and they believed him but you don't <laughs> look I don't know what Orea found up there. A shaman's not going to talk to an outlander. The machines in the cut are getting more vicious, that's a fact. It could be because of the daemon, or it could be because they all got indigestion, for all I know. <laughs> but Orea's not I like around this guy. to explain. She took off, and no one knows why. Is Aratak a renowned warrior around here? He's a Warwick chieftain. His voice carries a lot of respect. Not that you hear much of it. Man talks about as much as a dead fish. <laughs> but when he and Aurea came to town with their Warwick, it drew more Banuke to this little burg than I'd ever seen. Know what else I saw, Aloy? My own little trade route, stretching all the way back to the claim. Then, he goes and leads them off to their death at the claws of angry machines. Uh, so much for my best customers. Merchants are pretty bold. They'll go places no no one uh, no one else from their culture has gone before. Anyway, obviously the Banuk were here first, <laughs> but uh, he is a cultural anthropologist. He is not. What are these Wericks about, Burgrind? Some sort of tribe within the tribe? Eh, not like our clans back home. You don't get born into these things. They hold tryouts, prove your best at something, and you might get a place. Some Wericks come and go. Some last as long as metal. The whole Banuk territory, Banur, 
It's just a bunch of the biggest, oldest wearings. I'm not sure if I'm less confused or more confused. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the sure thing. Each Warwick has a chieftain and a shaman. They make the decisions. All well and good, except the chieftains are hard-headed. And the shamans have their heads in the clouds. You said you've lived out here for two winters? Aye. Back home, some fur traders told me about this steel-forsaken heap of tents. Good location. Ripe for change. We were barely scraping by until this place started filling up for Araya. A great prophet is coming, they said. Oh, I heard prophet. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> not that the Banook are stingy, they just prefer to keep trade among themselves. We could get through to enough of them. We could really put this place on the map. Or at least on a map. Uh, you can't force change either upon a people, you know. They they probably don't want outsider influence. They they like what they have. You know what I mean? Like I mean sometimes change can be for good and like in, in like a an exchange of ideas is always like good on paper but sometimes it can lead to also like exchange of diseases and exchange of colonialism not that they really seem to have that in this game which is nice <laughs> just the carjo who were blood sacrificing everybody which is less nice haha <laughs> we me and my dog my assistant varja my assistant and my dog mm. we seem to get along better as business partners her mother wanted me to show her a trade. She started tinkering with weapons. Say, when you need a break from this Banuk carry-on, stop in and see her. You're both, uh, mm, how do I put it? Uh, Women. <laughs> independent. Look for her at Long Beach, the easternmost Banuk camp. Just the way I put your hands on her hips. <laughs> Women. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, somebody got a good kick at that on the writer's table. <laughs> that was good. That actually made me laugh. <laughs> I want to know more about this Damon. Mm -mm. It's crazy mm -mm. talk, Aloy. Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rasps. Ice Rasps? That's hard. I heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those. I look so cold. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine, like no one seen before. Well, now I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrind. Don't mention it. I wonder if Aratok can tell me more about Araya or Thunderstorm. Might be worth a shot. I can go talk to that guy right there. I can go talk to him. Good. I do want to talk to the other wom woman. <laughs> but no, and I also from, I remember I remember a little bit of the Banook from when you go to Sunfall. Uh, to you kind of masquerade as a uh, bounty hunter, and you meet there's a Banook group there that is wanting to bounty hunt with Uthid. Uh, and... Ooh. You can you can talk to them a tiny bit, and they do talk about... Ooh, nope. Like how everything's a competition, and you, you encounter a few in the, um... Like in the overworld in general. Pretty sure one of the people you can hunt down for your own little mini bounty hunting things of Banook. And she talks about like having, this might be a different, not the Banook, but she had talks about like, no, yeah, cause they like, they had like their stories tattooed on them, essentially. Like their life stories tattooed on them. I think that's a Banook thing too. It's interesting stuff. Care, I really need to find it. Oh, I need to find a bunny. Never mind. Okay, we're good. I don't care about potions, but I, I guess I will. 
Look at this, look at this. I have, I have. What do I have? I have. I have spear, the cards, the hunter bow, and the tripcaster. Which, honestly, the tripcaster is my most favorite weapon in the game, so. But I really miss my tear blast arrows. My tear blast. Hey! It's probably a good time to call this episode. Anyway, blah. So hopefully this is not too haphazard and I can get- Ooh, there's a hot spring up there next to that exclamation point. I can see it. Hopefully this isn't too haphazard. Hopefully we can get this, this DLC done fairly quickly, but I do want to explore around, find some stuff, at least do the main quest stuff. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see what I can do. Uh, I'll probably be playing a little bit of Horizon Forbidden West as I go along simply because I want to play it very badly, so I might get some stuff spoiled for me, but that's okay. We'll see how it goes. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it if you managed to make it here, <laughs> despite me uploading, like, at this point, like, three series, so I appreciate it. Um, but really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Scalito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra super duper special shout out for my tree tier patron, Christopher, who has been extra, extra supportive and is the super bestest. And thank you so, so much. I appreciate it. And thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.